start talking about hydronephrosis, let's understand the anatomy of the kidney. Kidneys, these are retroperitoneal organs placed deep in the lumbar region on each side of the vertebral spine. Kidney, a kidney has two sides, an interior one and a posterior one, two margin, an external one which is convex, an internal one which is concave, and two poles, superior and inferior. Inside the kidney, there is the minor calyx, the major calyx, a part of the renal pelvis. Outside the kidney, we have the tip of the renal pelvis, the ureter, the urinary bladder, and the ureter. What are examples of renal malformations? One is the shape and size anomalies, like renal hypoplasia, dysplasia, a small kidney, a hypertrophic kidney, a lobulated kidney, and a kidney with particular forms. Second malformation is number anomalies. Can be a bilateral absence of the kidney, a can be a unilateral absence of the kidney, one, one kidney is absent, multiple kidneys, and a double kidney ureteral duplication. Third renal malformation is rotation and location anomalies, meaning you can have a malrotated kidney or an ectopic kidney. Fourth renal malformation is renal fusion, which comes, which can come in the form of a horseshoe kidney. The fifth renal malformation is solid tumors, benign or malignant, cystic tumors, and seventh, a multi-cystic renal dysplasia. Now we'll start talking about today's topic which is hydronephrosis. Hydronephrosis definition is the distension of the calyx and the renal pelvis which is caused by the obstruction of the ureteropelvic junction, UPJ, and it's a consequence of the renal atrophy of the renal parenchyma. What are the obstacles that can cause hydronephrosis? The obstacle in the case of hydronephrosis can be intraluminal obstacles or extraluminal obstacles. Intraluminal can be like small stenosis, hypoplasia of the ureteropelvic junction, which is the most frequent cause, as rarely ureteropelvic junction atresia is a, another obstacle in the intraluminal. Intraluminal valves, five epithelial polyps. As for the extraluminal, Hydronephrosis is the aberrant vessels, arteriovenous malformations, fibrous adherences, high implantation of the ureter in the renal pelvis combined with adherences. What about symptoms in hydronephrosis? The symptoms in hydronephrosis are most of the time insignificant. These include urinary infections, abdominal pain, lumbar pain, blood and urine, urgent and frequent need to eliminate urine, prolonged fever, a soft palpable tumor in the flank and the lumbar, sometimes a ghost tumor, mediocre general status, inappetence, paler, hypotrophia, digestive tract problems in babies and young children. How can we diagnose the patient with hydronephrosis? The diagnosis can be done through clinical diagnosis. Imagistic is a certified diagnosis. Before birth, you apply fetal ultrasonography and fetal MRU. As for after birth, you apply the IVP, which is the examination that makes the diagnosis. It will show the functional capacity of the kidney, the dilatation degree of the calyx and renal pelvis, the thickness of the renal parenchyma, the aspect of the other kidney, possible associated anomalies such as the horseshoe kidney, ectopy and duplication, etc. What are the other investigations that can be applied in the case of hydronephrosis? These include after birth ultrasonography, voiding cystogram, arteriogram and blood and urinary tests. Now let's speak about the complications that can occur to patients with hydronephrosis. One, renal stones, two, infection, or both of them. 
renal stones and infection. Note that hydronephrosis must be not confused with obstructive stones that reduce dilatation of the calyx. As for in the hydronephrosis, only removing the stone is not enough. Prognosis in the hydronephrosis is good. Thank you for watching and looking forward to see you in the next video with a new topic.